hello friends welcome back to engineering nature so far we had considered various types of problem which involved various physics in this answers fluent tutorial series today i am incorporating the combustion model to understand this combustion phenomena we are going to consider methane combustion for that the simple geometry which i will create with the help of the design modeler the part of answers simple with the help of sketching and use of lines you can construct a simple rectangle first where we have a fuel inlet air inlet and the wall i am considering 2 mm of fuel inlet 48 mm of air inlet and total 500 mm of length in the axial directions let's use this cage and let's generate the mesh i am going to create mesh by using the sizing options so let's choose the edge size uh, let's consider 144 number of division on the air inlet side and you should also choose the bias factor of 5 in the similar way let's use the sizing option for the fuel inlet where total number of division i am considering 20 for the bottom as well as top side i am considering 1000 division and you should also incorporate the bias factor if you are not aware about two dimensional mashing customization of two dimensional mashing you can just go through my tutorial for the two dimensional mashing now at the outlet you can also uh, adopt the sizing option and put the total number of division of 150 and just create the mesh so it will give the unstructured mesh you can refine this mesh by putting the face mashing option select the face and and simply you update the mesh it will restructure the mesh element and we have a structure kinds of mesh element the total number of mesh element is in the range of 156000 so it's uh, we required a very refined mesh to simulate the combustion so this is what refinement is required near to the axis where fuel is injected now let's define the boundary condition in which we have a fuel inlet on the bottom air inlet on the top we have wall on the bottom we are considering as a axis because it's axisymmetric case and we are considering the outlet boundary conditions once we define the boundary conditions let's move to the fluent now first to visualize the full geometry go to the view and enable the axis for viewing the complete geometry now you should check the mesh once you check the mesh we are considering axisymmetric case pressure based steady solver now in the model sections we have to enable the energy equation to calculate the temperature we are considering the k omega as a steam model and specifically to simulate the combustion we required to enable the species transport equations now from the mixture material sections you can choose the appropriate fuels we are going to consider methane air combustions so let's choose methane air from that tab we are considering volumetric reaction 
as well as eddy dissipation turbulence now so this is how we can enable the species transport model we are not enabling the nox model right now now on the material sections once we enable the species transport the mixture the segment mixture material will automatically enabled now in the mi mixture material segment we can check verified the methane air property now let's define the boundary condition we have two different boundary condition at the inlet that is air inlet as well as fuel inlet i am considering the mass flow rate of air with 0.0118 kg per second you provide the appropriate turbulent intensity as well as hydraulic diameter now in the species segment you should incorporate the mass fraction of oxygen that is air contain 23 percentage of oxygen so you specified mass fraction of oxygen that is 0.23 now let's define the fuel inlet the mass flow rate of fuel i am considering that is 0.000172 the intensity and hydraulic diameter correspondingly you specified now you can specify the species we are considering entire inlet filled with methane ch4 you just incorporate fraction as a 1 once you define the boundary conditions at the outlet boundary condition we are considering the atmospheric gauge pressure atmospheric pressure that is zero gauge pressure appropriate intensity and hydraulic diameter you can you should incorporate now once you define the boundary conditions let's go to the so solution setup in that you should ensure the pseudo transient selections we are also defining the residual appropriate residual let's define residual for x y momentum continuity energy and fraction now let's initialize the problem with the hybrid initializations it's automatically activate the add dissipation ignitions so our fuel will ignite and combustion will start now in the calculation activity let's consider the 100 iterations you should choose time scale factor as a 5 now combustion simulation always time consuming simulations because it has to solve continuity momentum energy as well as species transport equations which which very tedious and the time required for iterations is too long so after few hours our solution has been converged so now let's look into the results section we are interested to look the temperature distribution go through the contours and select the temperature which will give you the temperature contours this temperature contour indicating the combustion propagation of methane red in the red color indicating the maximum temperature which is almost 2400 you can save this contour at your appropriate locations this is how it look like you can also see the velocity magnitude com contours now let's plot the temperature profile along the axis so choose the temperature and we are considering x as a plot directions and let's choose the axis on which let's plot the temperature profile so these are the temperature variation along the axis which will move from 400 to 2400 degrees celsius but yes this axial temperature distribution shows how the temperature will increase along the axis you can also write this data you just 
enable the write file and at your desired location you just write this data file generally it's a notepad file you you can open that file via notepad so basically we are making the plot on the axis which contain the so many number of elements so we have so much information along the axis which is not suitable for interpreting so basically let's make the one rack over the rack let's consider 10 different points that rack i am considering just at the axis only now once you create the rack let's plot the temperature on that rack so basically we have 10 points and 10 different values along the axis and you can also write that values so you can just simply interpret that and you can compare that value with other results let's see the fuel distribution through the mass fraction of methane you just go to the contour and check the mass fraction of methane that is mass fraction of ch4 so this is how the diffusion of fuel into the air now let me create a unique features available in fluent that is in the result section we have a scene so let's create a scene that that will make the facility to superimpose two different contours so let's try to create a scene of temperature and the methane mass fraction together to create that scene you have to add that contour which you want to superimpose so first one is let's use the temperature contour so you just activate the temperature contour and just display it so it will add in this scene section at the same time let's activate the mass fraction of the methane so in the new object you simultaneously go to the contour and activate the mass fraction of methane so this contour is also add into this scene section once you save that it will appear on this segment likewise so now we have a flexibility to adjust the contour transparency accordingly so let's say uh, let's see uh, i am just make more transparency for the temperature and you just play with that so you will get the nice contour which will reflect how the combustion will occur during the diffusion of methane gas So this is how beautiful image we can capture with the help of scene options. You can save that picture. So in this part, in this first part, we are considering only uh, the combustion side. In the second part, I will demonstrate about the emission side. It's emission element like CO2, CO, NOx and soot particles. So that's it for today. Thank you very much. You can subscribe Engineering Nature.